Hey guys, so this is my last get ready with me of 2017. And I figured why not just shoot a little recap of what I've learned in 2017 and give some tips for 2018. I mean, why not? You guys are my family, you guys are my peeps. And I feel like I should just share with you the gems that I picked up this year. I have primer on, so if I look like the ghost from Christmas past, please excuse me. So a primer just for you. Got my brows in. I use Anastasia Dip Brow, by the way. I'm gonna just start highlighting under my brows with an Urban Decay eyeshadow. So, one of the tips I've learned in 2017, guys, is to put God first. God is not only important in the church, like, God is important in every area of your life. Having a relationship with God is something He actually wants. He wants you to talk to Him. He wants you to confide in Him. He wants you to trust Him. Don't think that there's anything too small to include God in. I include God sometimes in the things I shop. I'll be like, God, please, you know, lead me to the right shoes for the right price and the right size, the right comfort, the right style. And he'll be doing it. Also don't think that you're you have to achieve a certain level of holiness to have God in your life. Like don't ever think, oh, because I've sinned, because I've done this bad thing, you know. I'm too jaded to have a relationship with God. I'm too jaded to go to church. I'm too jaded to take communion. No, you're not. You're not. Because at the end of the day, it's not even you that can make yourself righteous in God's eyes. It's only through Christ. So another lesson I've learned is there's a time and a season for every thing and everyone. Not everything and everyone is supposed to be in your life for its entirety. You will have friends, you will have situationships, you will have situations and circumstances that just don't last for a long time. You may have friends that you, you know, think are there to stay. You may have family that you think is there to stay. You may have a job. Things are very seasonal, very temporary, and there's a reason why it's in your life for a certain amount of time. And sorry, I'm so distracted right now. Okay, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder to put on my foundation. Let me tell you guys something. Sometimes we don't like to let go of certain things. So we kind of like force to keep those things in our lives, even though they're not supposed to be there forever. And so we try to force things to stay, force people to stay that are not supposed to be there. And what we end up doing is causing a situation for ourselves when God is trying to close a door and we're trying to keep it open. Sometimes the reason why God is trying to remove you from a certain situation is because there's something better coming. And in the moment, you don't see it, but it's all in hindsight. Sometimes it's a little unfortunate that, you know, we're enjoying a certain thing and it doesn't last, but at the end of the day, maybe it's just there to teach us a very specific lesson. Maybe that thing or that person in our life is just there to make us stronger, to build us up, to encourage us, or just to open our eyes to something, you know? And some of these situations that we're in also, they suck. And it feels like it's going to last forever, but it's not. Everything is temporary. Eventually this world is even gonna pass away. This world is not gonna last forever. Your edges ain't gonna be lost forever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Sometimes you just have to look at the bright side. Everything happens for a reason, guys. That's my next point. And sometimes we get upset when certain things happen. And that's understandable, but always look at the, the bright side and the positive side of things, which is there is a reason behind you missing the bus in the morning. That's gonna get you late for that interview. What we all need to encourage ourselves with is that that reason is 
for our good. Right now I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. One time I got a job and I had like the worst boss and I would always question like why? 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 This is happening. Why do I have to deal with this person every day? Why do I have to suffer? And literally sometimes even come home crying. But it has honestly made me so much stronger in the workplace. It has made me a better businesswoman. It has made me learn not to take things so personal, especially in the workplace. It sucked in the moment, but there was a reason for that. Another thing that I've learned this year is to just do it, like Nike. Just do it. Nike, where's my sponsorship? Like, I'm literally shouting y'all out right now, so. Just saying. The reason why I'm saying just do it is because we spend a lot of time dilly dally, get on social media, and we waste time, and we take a nap, and we wake up, and we still didn't do anything that we were supposed to do. And I don't know about for y'all, but for me, I do a lot of procrastinating sometimes, and it's not helpful. I hit the snooze button at least four times in the morning. And I'm not even kidding. It's just cause I be extra tired. But at the same time, if you're really motivated and you're set on accomplishing a certain thing, just get it done because the more you spend time just talking about it or dilly-dallying or snoozing, it's gonna just push things back further. And by the time you know it, you may never even get it done, like ever in your life. Sometimes I gotta even force myself to get up and wash the dishes. Another thing that I've learned is that words hold a lot of power. Guys, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier powder under my eyes. Thing is, words hold life and death. You can speak things into existence. You have to be very mindful about what you say concerning your own life and the people's lives around you using Anastasia Cool Earth Stick Foundation to contour. The words that you use after I am blank, that word is very important. If you say I am broke, if you end up broke, why do you think that happened? Like, if you keep speaking into existence, I'm rich, I'm rich, I got money, or I will be rich, I will be rich, the money's coming, stuff like that. When you start getting a little hefty salary, you're gonna understand why. You have to speak positivity into your life and you have to learn how to be very mindful about the words that you choose. I'm still learning that because sometimes I'll say stuff and I'll have to catch myself. Speak good things into your life in 2018. Say in 2018, I will learn how to do this. In 2018, I will get this job. In 2018, I will exceed you know, this expectation and follow them up with some actions too, of course. Don't just like say something and then sit idly on your couch, not trying to do anything about it. Speak it and then put yourself out there to try to accomplish those goals. This is something I'm working on too. Cause I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna get this opportunity and then like, I don't do anything about it. You gotta still try to work toward the things that you want but speak it speak it like if it's already there and you have to actually believe it too believe it speak it believe it it'll come to pass another really really important thing i've learned is be super mindful about who you allow in your space and who you surround yourself with because let me tell you not everyone has your best interest some people will just smile in your face because they don't want to seem like a hater They'll smile on your face because they feel like that's the right thing to do. But they'll go, they'll gossip behind your back. By the way, this is the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. There's some people you're gonna realize all they do is start stuff. All they wanna do is talk about someone. All they wanna do is be negative. Those are the kinds of people you don't want in your life. People who are always negative, people who are always talking bad about others, because they might just be talking bad about you too. And they might be involving you in situations that you don't need to be in. In 2018, protect your peace. Protect that space. Don't just let anyone come through. 
Something else that I learned in 2017, y'all, is that a lot of us tend to wanna rush to get to our goal. I understand, we wanna make it to our destination. We wanna make it to a certain place and that's fine. That's fine to want these things, but sometimes we try to rush so much we don't see the blessings in the journey. Within that process, you find your purpose. Shout out to the person who told me that. We just want the fastest, easiest way. There's definitely blessings along the way. There's lessons along the way. Along the journey, we will experience some things that we don't want to experience, but that comes with achieving great things. Some people are handed things on a silver platter, but for most of us, no, nah, we're, we're not all in that boat. And it's fine if we're not. Trust in the fact that good things are coming, but there's work involved. And when it's the right time, it'll happen. When it's the right season, it'll happen. Here's a bonus tip for 2018. You have to get used to being uncomfortable. And what I mean by that is when you're growing and when you're trying to get to a certain point in your life and when you're trying to succeed, you can't stay in the same place. Growth takes pain, takes discomfort. We're gonna have to experience new things. We're gonna have to put ourselves out there sometimes. We're gonna have to go through things that we don't normally go through. But it's all to make us stronger, it's all to make us better, it's all to make us more prepared for what we have to do next. You guys ever get like mascara in your eyes? This is too much for my life right now. If you guys ever find yourself in a part of your life where you've just been very comfortable in a certain position for a very long time, something's gotta change. We all gotta make moves. It's not fun being uncomfortable. Or will it make you better? Yes. It's hard for me to look cute doing mascara. Cause I, my face automatically wants to shift down for some reason. These are the things that I've learned from experience in 2017 and even some before 2017. But this year has been an incredible learning experience for me. This is definitely something that I want to share with you guys so that you can also take these tips into 2018 and use them to prosper, use them to reign in your life. Speaking of reign, a book recommendation I have for you guys is Destined to Reign by Joseph Prince. Changed my life in a lot of ways. And I'm wishing my YouTube family a happy new year, a prosperous new year, a great new year, an effective new year. Be the best versions of yourselves. Go slay in 2018, okay? I don't want to see you in the same spot that I saw you this year, next year. We're not going to be having the same conversation next year. Next year, y'all going to be coming to me, telling me about how great your year was, how wonderful your year was, how much you've grown, how much you've learned. Okay. And I'm wishing you and your family all the best. Bye, guys. Before you leave, make sure, make sure you subscribe.